about a year and a half ago, uh, Benedetto approached me about helping him get some human data to um, confirm and elaborate on a mathematical model that he's developing of pedestrian flow, so how people move around space. The information from these models can help design better buildings, better pedestrian facilities, and uh, play a role in designing evacuation routes. Um, so just understanding how people move through space. As um, Mary was saying, I work on uh, using uh, mathematical models for various applications. One of them is uh, the pedestrian flow. The final aim is to have a model that can predict the behavior of pedestrians and uh, this will uh, improve the design of buildings including safety issues like evacuations. So my idea was to contact Mary and uh, have her on board for trying to design an experiment that would guide the research and lead to a mathematical model that has uh, some knowledge coming from the psychological inside in the model. My role in this research project was basically to um, look at how people make decisions when they're walking through and they come across an obstacle. So I set up cones um, at different locations and different points on a path and I looked at how um, people walking by were affected by these cones and whether they chose to go right or left and um, basically just how they responded to their obstacle in that path. The models we were developing needed uh, some uh, to, to specify some parameters and to make some choice in tuning these models and for this we absolutely needed some data and uh, Emily collected all this data uh, by observation done on campus, both by direct observation and using the surveillance cameras. I think that most people don't really think too much about how they navigate in a given place, but if we know that people behave a certain way when they're um, when either crowds form or there's an obstacle present, we can help design facilities more to be more efficient. Well, I'm sure you've been in a situation where you're exiting the subway and there are two escalators, but people keep choosing the nearest one and getting jammed up. And if they would distribute themselves better, then everyone would get out faster. This was my first experience with research. And um, before working on this project, I really didn't have any clue what it entailed. But I think that it helped me a lot academically because um, the concepts that I was learning about in my classes were really brought to life on a new level and I was able to apply them um, in a real world setting. So we couldn't have done this project without her. I mean we both, as I mentioned, had our own research to work on and we had this project we wanted to do and so having someone who could do this for us just made it possible.